seven years, did we add 10 years, if you want to include the original iPhone, say seven years when it became popular and all the apps and Instagram and Facebook and all that other jazz came into our life. We are in a monumental shift that our bodies cannot handle. And by our bodies, I mean our brains. Okay, so let's just get into it. So as you guys already know, I've been training for an Ironman. I've been literally training. I actually want to go back and look at my calendar. I've probably put in 20 straight days of training. And these aren't like, oh, okay, let's walk around the block. No, it's like you're gonna do an Equinox Tabata class with 20, 25 pound dumbbells and then for 45 minutes, and then you're gonna go into a 1500 yard swim. That may sound easy to you guys, I have no idea. To me, I have to get my cardio up, and then you're layering that every single day, so it's getting a little bit more challenging. Why do I say that? I say that to preface these four things that I'm gonna be talking about. What I notice is when you're training, you can't have negativity at all in your brain. Why? Because you'll quit. Why? Because you'll slow down. Why? Because you'll bring down your intensity or bring down the duration or maybe not even show up. So hack number one is look at, there is, there is nothing more. So this is, the, this is my thing with Gary Vaynerchuk is he brings out concepts which are good. Be self-aware, but he doesn't talk about how to be self-aware. He goes, you gotta just be self-aware. I'm, I'm very self-aware. I know what I like and I know what I don't like. Oh, and uh, that's where we stop. So this is the thing is that what I noticed is during my, you have to be so centered in what you like and what you don't like. In other words, while you're doing an activity, literally go inside and say, why am I slowing down? Why do I feel bad? Is it because I drank last night? Is it because I had bad food? Is it because I had no sleep? And then you have to reverse engineer, okay, let's try it without drinking. Let's do this exact same thing without drinking. You're, you're essentially testing out your body. For the first thing is, is that if you put something negative into your brain, guess what happens? Negativity comes out. That comes out in your emotions, that comes out in conversations, that comes out in the way that you actually think about not only yourself, but the world. So if you think that, if you're watching drama and politics and reality TV, and you're bitching and complaining, and you're in the comment section, and you're bantering back and forth, or you're in a fight for even a week, notice how you feel when you start going to the the gym, when you start training, when you are in conversations, your brain actually shifts. And as the, the saying goes, whatever wires together or whatever fires together, wires together. So we have dendrites within our brain and then we have myelin over that. So the dendrites essentially are the synaptic connections that fire together. So it's doing hundreds of things, thousands of things probably per second, which is my breathing, blood, killing off cell is creating cells, you know, indigestion system. There's just millions of things that you don't, you're not even thinking about. And those are very close because they need to be very close. But the thing is, when we start putting negativity inside of ourselves, and I'm gonna get into two, three, and four after this, but this is so important. And the reason being is that we have a baseline. And I'm gonna talk about this further in another video because I noticed this with people is that I'm an upbeat, charismatic, energetic, enthusiastic guy. It has taken me 10 years to get to this point. I was a really nice guy in high school. I was a total asshole in college. And then I said, well, the nice guy didn't work. The total asshole didn't work. What do I need to do? So I started learning about it. Instead of just being that, I was like, well, what do smart people do? How to win friends and influence people, how to gain confidence from public speaking and blah, blah, blah. All these books I started dealing with. The thing is we have an emotional threshold that we're at. And if we go above that, in other words, if I went around someone that was even more positive from me, that I have to keep my energy up. I have to be someone that I'm not. I, I actually start sinking down unless I'm comfortable raising to their standard, which is only positivity, only proactivity, only just thinking of solutions, only action oriented, because I'm not 100% there yet. So in other words, what you feed yourself gives you your baseline. If you have a baseline of bitching, moaning, and complaining, and you're around someone that's really positive, you're gonna be like, oh, I can't handle it. And you're gonna, you're gonna self-sabotage yourself and bring yourself down. So understand what you're feeding your mind, number one. And the reason being, so how did I take that away? Let's make it more practical. There's a great, I wrote it down, Stay Focused is an app on Chrome that I have blocked YouTube from 8.30 to five o'clock. I'm not on YouTube at all. If I wanna go on YouTube and upload a video or answer comments or do anything, I have to do it on my phone. But ironically, my phone is on airplane mode from 8.30 to 11. I don't answer calls, I don't answer emails, I only make prospecting calls during that time. And the reason being is that I am addicted 
to the easy way out. So I have to put things in my way so I can't do that. I can't go on YouTube. I can't watch videos about triathlons, even though that, that brings nothing to my life. In other words, financially or business or creation-wise, that's just consuming content. So number two, I deleted Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube and all dating apps, there's no games on my phone. So when I go on my phone, I'll swipe up. You're probably not gonna be able to see it, but this is what it looks like. This notification, that's a stupid notification from uh, the um, upgrading your software on your phone. But I have, at the bottom part, I have a podcast, Audible, Ever Music, Docs, Settings, Optimize. So this is all about my morning routine. When I want to learn something, Optimize is from Brian Johnson, obviously Audible, Podcast. I don't really listen to podcasts anymore. I, um, I'll probably get rid of that city bike, exit strategy, maps. You know, I don't have anything that I'm gonna go on and stimulate myself. I have nothing. And then these are the only ones, you know, so this is my folder up top, which is Venmo, PayPal, Uber, Lyft, Amazon, uh, Weather, Level Up. None of these apps will give me any stimulation. Dating apps gave me stimulation. Instagram, Facebook. In other words, I go to it for a fix. I go to it when I'm bored. So when you remove everything, you go to your phone and you say, there's nothing to actually entertain me. There's nothing that I'm gonna get my, my adrenaline from. There's nothing to give me that dopamine rush. So you just sit there and you're like, I, I, I guess, in other words, I took away everything that I needed to actually, and then obviously with Instagram, by the way, I, I heard there's a new feature that it shows how many times you actually go on Instagram. The next thing with your phone, this isn't number three, this is still number two, is that I don't check my phone unless I need to. And I wanna to get to the point where I, I can actually leave my phone at work. iOS something, 11, you can actually find out what your screen time is, the apps you use the most, blah, blah, blah. Look at it, that's self-awareness. Number three is, this is all about self-awareness. I sold my laptop. And the reason I sold my laptop is that I would, I would use it as an excuse to work from home, to stay home, to not go out, to maybe not go to the gym, to watch videos, to watch YouTube. I, and I would do this at home because it's a laptop. So I'd bring it to work, I'd commute to work. So now I have a desktop. I have the, the big silver, big Apple machine that connects to two monitors and all these lights and computers and all these gadgets. I, if I wanna work, I have to work here. I can't watch anything at home because I'm not gonna watch it on here because I don't have anything on here. And on my computer, it's, it's not there because it's stay focused, which is the app. In other words, what I'm getting at is there are so many things out there, you have to understand I'm addicted to Instagram. So you can either do one of two things. First, turn off all the notifications. Number two is turn off all the dings and buzzes on all apps, except for phone calls and text messages. And to be honest, on my phone, it's usually on airplane mode and it's always, always, always on silent. I never hear my phone. And if I'm waiting for a call, it's facing up and I, I see it light up, that's it. There's no vibrate, there's no phone, there's no messages, nothing like that. With regards to actually putting in placements within your way, go down the route, which is, so with Instagram, if you wanna weed off of Instagram, you have to put it in a folder where you can't, it's not on your main screen, or put it on another screen. So it's not there on your main screen when you open up your phone. If you wanna go further, you put it in a folder on another page, and within that folder, you put it on another page. So you have to go to another page, go to that folder, and then go to the other page within that folder. And then the last thing is you delete Instagram from your phone. I still have the account. You could, do, you could post stories, you could do whatever, and then I download it every once in a while and just answer DMs. But now I have something on my desktop called IGDM, and essentially I can answer all my DMs from there, so I don't even need Instagram at all. You could do this with anything. Number four is airplane mode. Airplane mode needs to be utilized way more often. And the reason being is that we are on our phone, and the reason we're on our phone is because we can be at all times. My alarm is Alexa. My phone is in my kitchen while I sleep in my bed. Anytime I wake up, I have something that tells me the weather, the lights come on automatically. My alarm is Alexa. My phone is on airplane mode. It's away from me. I don't wake up and go on my phone. I don't answer emails. I don't do anything. I get up and I go on Optimize, which is a great app. You have to pay for it. Uh, a monthly charge, but it's, it's the best personal development. Moving on from that, I leave my phone from 8 p.m. to about 8.30 a.m. I keep on the airplane mode. Moving on to that is that the reason being is, and I also have blue blocking glasses, which in other words, or 
Yeah, it's blue. It's blue. Yeah, blue light blocking glasses. So essentially, you put it on, and it mimics the sun going down. Because we went to bed when it got dark, or we looked at a fire which was orange and it was completely dark for thou hundreds of thousands of years. We, we think we have all these screens in front of us. I have an iPad. I have two screens. I have a cell phone. I have a calculator right here. You know, like I got a microphone thing. I got like all these dings and buzzes and whatever. It's not worth it. I got iPod, AirPods here. I got my device for making calls. This isn't good. This doesn't give you the productivity. I made a video yesterday and this is what I'm going to end at. I know this is long. I don't know if you took anything away from it. The main thing is you have to understand yourself. Okay, you have to understand yourself is that I feel really good today. Why do I feel really good? Is it because I went to the gym? Is it because I did something that, okay, here, here's the best story. So I'm not in any dating apps. So how do I meet girls? I walk up to them and I say hi. So my main thing is I walk up to them, hi, how's it going? And I just give a, a situation. So it's very cold in New York City. So the girl this morning, she was, I said, I'm like, oh my God, you're all bundled up. It's on the street. It's at like, I don't know, 8.15, 8.30. She looks at me, doesn't really respond, which is normal because she doesn't know if I'm going to sell her something because that's it's New York City. She doesn't know if I'm going to try and get her email address for a cause of like, I don't know, like some world cause, like World Health Organization cause because it's New York City and that's all they do. They say, hey, how's it going? Can I get your email or sign up for this newsletter or whatever? So she doesn't know that. So then I go into, oh, you look really familiar. Total lie, but you know, whatever. Uh, you look really familiar. You look like a girl that I, I work out with at Tabata. Oh my God, I love Tabata, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we start walking. She cuts off and she goes into the Whole Foods. I keep on going. There was a moment I should have gotten her number, but I didn't. So you'll get to the point where, where that aggravates you, where actually going up and saying hi isn't a big deal. But the actual moment where you need to close and get the number, you don't, but you feel bad about it. I still feel bad about it. We had a great interaction. We had a great banter. I know there's there's total playboys at home that are like, oh, I could easily do that. Yeah, let's see you out there in the open. It's nice to say that when you're looking at you know, a YouTube video in your pajamas, but I'll put you in front of that person. We'll see what happens. And the reason I say that is there's a lot of things that look easy on TV. But I'll put you on Mount Everest or I'll put you in that, that half marathon or that full marathon or that Ironman. That's what I said. I said, oh, no, 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 making calls is easy. Yeah, making a call is easy. But making a call, getting the appointment, prospecting, all these things get in the way. Well, I'm going to check my email. Uh -huh. I'm going to check Instagram. I'm going to check Facebook. I'm going to check YouTube. That's what happened to me. So what, do, what did I have to do? I had to put stops in front of me. I had to put roadblocks in front of me. It's not on my phone. I have to block it from my computer. I have to put it on airplane mode. I can't even leave my phone in front of me or else I'll be on it. I have to do that. I'm assuming you're in the same way as well. And the reason being is we take the, the least resistance. This is a video that I'm going to do. I'll go over it really quick and I'll leave you guys here. I know it's a long video. This is the most important thing. We all have the same hours in a day. You already know that. But really, truly think about this for a second. What makes the difference between Richard Bronson, Steve Jobs, Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, anyone high performing, and us? What's the difference? They do what they don't want to do when they need to do it. They keep promises to themselves. And the last thing I'm going to say is this is going to be a totally different video, but we have two voices. We have the voice of ease and we have the voice of what we really need to do. That's it. Life, as Tony Robbins says, and I'll make a totally video, a totally different video about it. Life comes down to decisions. But there's really only two decisions in life. What do you need to do and what's easy? That's it. There aren't a magnitude of decisions. Yes, when you go to a restaurant, they have a whole menu. But when it comes down to, do I stay in bed or do I go to the gym? Do I snooze my alarm? Do I get out of bed? Do I make prospecting calls or do I not? Do I go on Instagram or do I not? Simple decisions, okay? Because you go on Instagram, you then have, it's known as attention residue. So you then transition into another task, but you still have your attention on what you just came from, usually negativity. Then, as I said in number one, you bring that into the other task. I could go on for days. I just blacked out. I don't even know what I talked about, but hopefully that was helpful. <laughs> have an amazing day. If you guys have any questions, comments, um, any hacks that you guys know, I'm going to get more into the dissecting each because I know the practical advice is essentially what you guys want, even though the next one is going to be about the two voices. And I really figured that out as I started doing the training. So have an amazing day. Talk to you guys soon. Leave your comments below.